not know me, I am a photographer based in Oslo, Norway, and today I'm going to be showing you a recreation of a photo shoot I have already did. shoot and as soon as I posted it I got so many um, how did I like this and so forth so today I want to show you guys exactly how I lit this um, we have our lovely model Sophie here who is who is the model I used for the first shoot because the first shoot was for my book so I did not think to do a YouTube video about it but then I was like okay well this is a cool setup and people might want to know about it so I'm just gonna show you guys how I did it today all right Okay, so first I'm going to walk you guys through my actual setup of how this looks before I get to the lights. So I just have, um, I have two um, foam boards here, or V-flats as people call them, uh, foam boards here. I purchased some of the IKEA mirrors. Uh, they sell them in packs of four. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, um, six rows on either side so that's 24 mirrors that i purchased if you wanted to go all the way down of course you can probably do um one or two more layers here um so yeah i purchased the mirrors from ikea i put um as you can see i have clamps on my board here these are wooden boards that move that is just holding everything together and if you come close you can see um, Sophie will be here and you will see her reflection or uh, in some of the shots in the mirror and she'll be posing here and so forth so this is how I actually built the set so I am using um, so the model is there I will be standing here and all of my gear is here I am using the pro photo D1 uh, for this uh, and no modifiers, so I'm using just a hard light look here. However, just to know, the Pro Photo D1 do have a built in reflector, um, but other than that, that's um, yeah, other than that, it's just bare bulb. And then we also have another light here. So this light also, again, Profoto D1, and I do have a blue gel on this one. So this is going to, I'm um, just going to show you where this is hitting. So if you walk over here, you can see that this light is hitting the mirror. Just slightly on the back here where Sophie's going to be standing, uh, just to give a little bit of a cool backlight look with the blue and this light is set to 8.5 uh, so this goes up to 10 so it is a high it is on a high power um, at the moment okay so yes pro photo d1 with a blue gel and then my main light here which is um, angled down towards her and if you step behind me you can see how far i am from sophie Okay, so from this angle, you can see where I am in adjacent to Sophie. I am about, uh, what, 11, 10, 10, 11 feet away from Sophie. I will be moving back and forth a little bit, depending on which angle I want to get. If I want to get her um, in the reflection, I will come a little bit closer. As you can see here, if I'm uh, this particular type of angle, I will be able to see Sophie in the reflection. If I am straight on towards her, um, I will just get her and a little bit of her reflection in the sides, but not too much. So you have to scoot back if you want reflections on both sides of the mirror of your model. Um, yeah. All right, so I think that's uh, pretty much that. So we have our light here. Okay. And then we have the back light, which you saw. And we're pretty much going to start shooting now.
like with the mirror. I would suggest, um, because the last time I did this, I did not use uh, such a long board. I just had where the mirrors were. So if you want to uh, be able to maneuver a little bit more, uh, use a shorter board or use more mirrors, you know, you can uh, customize this to how you want to do it. Uh, but I am also going to show you another type of look using similar lights. So what we're going to do now, we're going to turn off the main light and just have the backlight on Sophie. And I'm going to show you guys what this looks like as well because it gives you kind of a cool um, backlit look. She won't have any light on the front of her, but she will have it surrounding her. And depending on the type of outfit your model is wearing, uh, is good because it can, what you see here with this uh, particular dress is a bit shiny. So it's catching the light a bit better. So this will uh, make the shoot with this type of light and mirrors look a bit more cooler and enhanced. So keep that in mind with your outfits. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I turn the main modeling light off and just have the back light, okay? Okay guys, so now I have turned my main modeling light off and we just have the back light here on, which is, as you can see, a little bit off to the side. Um, and it still has the blue gel on it. It is hitting the back of Sophie. And so I'm gonna show you guys, this is a very interesting, cool look. If you like want a backlight look with a little bit of rim on the side. And it looks similar to this. Okay. So I have to kind of turn the overhead lights on, uh, but they're not really doing, uh, so I have to turn the overhead lights on for the moment because I can't feel that dark. Uh, however, the lights aren't really doing anything with this light look, but they are on. But the main photo light is the back light. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of shooting and I'll show you guys some before and afters of this so you can see what it looks like. So this I'm going to have her doing a uh, certain type of poses since she is backlit and there's not that much light on her face. Um, I'm having her do very strong type of posing that uh, will look great from a backlight perspective and a little bit of rim lights perspective, okay? <laughs>
backlight. I thought it looked kind of cool, so give it a try yourself and see what you think um, and how you like it. You can, of course, add a few different other type of gels if you want more color or just another light in the back to give her a little bit of rim. All right, you guys, so you have seen how I recreated my first mirror look for you guys, or recreated the last mirror look I did. I showed you guys how I did it and how you can do it as well. Hope you found this educational. I do hope you try either one or all of these types of looks because they're all kind of cool to do. Customize it to your liking, to your setup, to your studio, etc. It is very fun to do. Uh, if you are a member of my Facebook group, definitely, uh, if <laughs> definitely post images if you do try this. If you're not a member of my Facebook group, um, I will leave the link below so you can join. If you like my videos, um, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this particular look. Uh, thank you to Miss Sophie <laughs> for recreating this look because like I said, we haven't done this before. So, uh, But we did do some new stuff that we did not do last time. So that's awesome. We will have some cool new stuff to add to our portfolios, which is always fun to do. So I think that's it for now, you guys. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you all next time.